Hi, welcome again. So, in this lesson, let us learn about structural testing. We talked about types of testing and we talked about four types of testing. One is functional type of testing, non-functional testing and the third one is structural testing. The fourth one is change related testing. So, in this lesson, let us learn about structural testing. So, what is structural testing? Structural testing employs white box test design techniques. It is also called white box testing. So, it employs white box test design techniques. We will talk about this white box test design techniques in a later lesson, but keep it in mind that structural testing employs white box test design techniques and they are based on analysis of the internal structure and workings of the software. That is why we are calling it as structural type of testing and if you compare it with functional testing, functional testing employs a lot of black box test design techniques. It looks at the system from a what goes in and what comes out of the system. But here we are not only are not bothered about what comes in and goes out, but we are more bothered about how the code is written, how the structure has been developed what is the architecture of the system and based on that understanding we try to exercise the structures deploying certain design techniques and do perform testing and that is what we are calling is structural testing or third type of testing. So, what are the what is the first point about white box testing? It uses the software's architecture, design and program code as the test basis unlike your functional testing which was the test basis are more like user manuals, requirement documents, expectations of the users, the stories, those were the basis for developing functional tests. Whereas, for structural tests we use software's architecture, design and program code as the basis. The second point is it is often measured by code coverage to determine what parts of the system have been exercised and what parts have not been exercised. We will talk more elaborately about code coverage because our goal in structural testing is to exercise various aspects of the structures of a code like statements, a set of statements are called statements and that is a very simplistic structure of any code and within that statements some statements are conditional statements if then else or case switch these are all conditional statements. So, if you are exercising those structures and how well you are exercising those structures then we call it as decision coverage. The earlier one is called statement coverage and sometimes the code will have structures like loops and if you are exercising the loop structures that is called loop coverage. So, often is white box testing is measured by code coverage to determine what parts of the system have been exercised and what parts of the system have not been exercised. Please keep it that in mind. And the third point do not get confused about white box testing as debugging. White box testing is a dynamic test performed to exercise the internal structures of a code. Whereas, debugging is after a fault is found to fix that we understand, we analyze the code and isolate the problem and change the code that process is called debugging. So, structural testing is not debugging, debugging is a development activity to find the cause of the defect and fix those defects. So, please do not get confused structural testing as debugging, debugging is different it is a development activity whereas, structural type of testing is a testing activity it is a dynamic testing activity both of them often are performed by developers, but both of them are different please keep that in mind. And the fourth point about structural testing is it may be performed at any or all test levels it can be performed it is primarily performed during lower levels of testing like unit testing and integration testing and less often performed 
during system test and acceptance test but there is no generalization that it cannot be performed at the time of system level testing you even complex code during system testing also must be exercised using code coverage measurements and structural coverage kind of thinking so fourth point about your structural testing is it may be performed at any or all test levels so we talked about four important points about our structural type of testing so let us do a, a quick knowledge check so which type of testing would be most likely to include code coverage no rocket science but let us see all the alternatives there a functional testing b non functional testing c exploratory testing d structural testing so what is the answer yes you are right the structural testing so code coverage is used at the time of structural type of testing so hope you have enjoyed the lesson and you understood the lesson and please post questions in the discussion forum and i will be answering you learn and have fun